Ibra, it's me, Cassidy Quinn, here to tell you guys what your favorite movies are, and then tell you what my favorite movies are at the end. But let's get started. So, first up, first person who commented on my video was JC Rocker12, and he said his favorite movie of all time is Back to the Future. That's a good movie. I kind of want to watch that now because I haven't seen it in a while. I have seen it, just not in a long time. Next one, Newcombs, aka Mike, said he doesn't have a favorite movie because his changes all the time. Hmm. Well, what's one of your favorite movies? It can change, but what's, what is it right at the moment? Huh? Huh? What is it? What is it? Peter Pamanes said, Beantown, baby, Boston. And I don't think that's a movie. This is awkward. Next one, Greg, a.k.a. The Whisper 365 said, he doesn't have a favorite movie, but he does have a favorite director. Does that count? Yeah, kinda. It's a whole favorite set of movies. So his favorite director is Tim Burton. So he loves anything Tim Burton. Sweeney Todd, Nightmare Before Christmas, Edward Scissorhands, Corpse Bride, Alice in Wonderland, Head Knows Horseman. He thinks he's seen everything Tim Burton has directed. And I'm pretty sure I haven't seen anything that Tim Burton's directed. Awkward turtle. Man Lothar 35 says Lord of the Rings. The first movie. But he's also really influenced by Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Time. Of the third kind, not time. He saw all of those in the theater. Most chilling to him was The Exorcist. He couldn't sleep after watching that as a kid. And The Abyss, Contact, and The Wizard of Oz are amazing stuff to him. Absolutely amazing stuff to him. That's what he told me. Uh, Go Rucky said that My Name is Khan, Slumdog Millionaire, Black Swan, those are all his favorites, and oldies like Godfather or One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which I have not seen. He said those are wonderful movies. I've seen The Godfather, but not One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Nest, not next. I can't talk this morning, it's too early. J.W. Cortana says 12 Angry Man, because he's classy like that. Very classy. Even though being angry isn't classy. Dale Davis says he's a softy when it comes to movies, but that's okay. No one makes fun of him for too long, he says. His favorites are Ghost, Titanic, and The Notebook. One of those is on my favorite list. Can you guess which one it is? I'll tell you later. Uh, Avs fan, GHJ19, says, for the newer movies, 500 Days of Summer is his favorite. Older movie, Ferris Bueller. I love Ferris Bueller. 500 Days of Summer, I've not seen yet, but I've been told a lot of times that I should see it, so I want to. Hellybot says his favorite movie is Drop Dead Fred. Good choice. Don't drop dead. Thrickwilled said The Usual Suspects. Ooh, that's a good movie, actually. I watched that in my film studies class my senior year of high school, so about five years ago, and I liked it. Now, for the part where I tell you all of my favorite movies. Now, Dale Davis, the one that I that is on my favorite list, that you said is on your favorite list, is The Notebook. I love The Notebook. It's really cute. And um, it makes me cry almost every time. It used to make me cry every time, but not as much anymore, because I think I've seen it so many times that it's... I've gotten numb to the emotions of the notebook. Um, other favorite movies. My top favorite movie of all time is Grease, the musical. John Travolta, Olivia Newton John, Danny and Sandy, Summer Lovin', you know that whole thing. Um, when I first saw that movie, I think I was like eight years old, and my parents told me I was going to watch a movie called Grease, and I was not excited. I was like, I don't want to watch this because I thought it was going to be a documentary about Grease, the place. Not like a musical. If they told me it was a musical, I would have been really way more excited, I promise, because I love musicals. Um, but yeah, so I was not excited to watch it. But now it's my favorite movie of all time. Another favorite movie of all time? E.T. I used to watch it multiple times a day when I was a kid. And like I said, The Notebook. I'm also a big fan of Mean Girls. Uh, I wish that they would make another one besides Mean Girls 2. Like a, just a remake of the first one. And then I would get to be in it. I don't know who I would be, but... Um, I think it would be really fun because I love that movie. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite movies. Another one I like, Princess Bride, which is a lot of people's favorite movies, so I don't like to say it as much because I don't feel very original. And I have to admit, I do like the Twilight movies. I wouldn't say they're my favorite movies, but they're really entertaining and kind of addicting. Uh, so yeah, those are my favorite movies. I'm going to get to work now. It's raining outside, which I'm not excited to go outside because I haven't bought an umbrella or any rain boots yet in Boston. That's kind of a fail. So take me back to San Francisco where it was sunny out all the time. <laughs> uh, 
What are you guys doing today? Anything exciting? Do you have anything exciting plans for the weekend? Because I am counting it as almost the weekend, even though we've still got today and tomorrow to get through. So, uh, what is getting you through this rainy Thursday, or whatever the weather is by you? Leave a comment below. What is getting you through the day? Some fun? Is it? Is there sunshine? Some pump-up music on your way to work? Uh, a donut? I am going, <laughs> when I get to work today, going with one of my coworkers to Dunkin Donuts to go, we call it apple picking, because they have apple donuts for the fall. We're really excited to try them. So what is getting me excited for this day of work is going apple picking with my coworker. So uh, see you later, subscribe, brah. Time to go apple picking.